All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make a drag and drop object. So in order to make this happen, we need to check a bunch of things. First, we need to check if your mouse is over the shape, right? If it's not over the shape, we don't wanna click here and move the shape. Second, we have to check if your left mouse button is clicked so that you can grab the shape. Third thing we have to check is if your mouse is gonna move after that. So we have to change the position of the shape to follow the mouse. And then the fourth thing we have to check is when you release the mouse button that we can place the object at that point. So we have to check those four things. So let's look at the code. So I'm just declaring some global variables in the beginning, the shape X, Y position, the radius of the shape. So I'm using a circle. So I need to know the radius and the diameter. The, for circle, you feed the diameter in, but you can use the radius to measure whether or not your mouse is within the circle. And shape move, shape move is the variable that, that's going to tell whether or not you are on the mouse and holding the left mouse button. If it's false, that's not happening. If it's true, you are on the mouse and the left mouse button is clicked. Uh, function setup, I'm just drawing the shape at the X, Y position and filling it with black. Function draw, function draw, all it's doing is painting the background and drawing the shape at the shape X and shape Y position at that diameter. Now we're gonna check some things. So this function mouse pressed is called every time the mouse button is pressed. So D is the distance between the mouse position, the mouse XY position, and the middle of the circle. Okay, so if this distance is less than the radius, so that means, the remember the radius is from the middle of the circle to the end of the circle. So if the distance between your mouse and the middle of the circle is in here between the middle of the circle and the radius, then we're setting shape move to true. We want that mouse to be able to grab that shape. Otherwise, it's false. The mouse is out here. We don't want to move that shape. And then the mouse released function. When you release the button, uh, this function is automatically called or run. So what happens? We set shape move to false, right? We don't want to move the shape without pressing the mouse button. So we have to be checking for the left mouse button to be released. And so we're going to sh set shape move to false. And then the last function, we're checking to see if the mouse is moving while the mouse button is clicked. So we're using the function mouse drag. That gets called every time the mouse moves on the, on the canvas. So what happens? So if shape move, so this means if shape move is true. So I could, you could put equals 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 true, but if you just put if shape move, that means if shape move is true because shape move is a Boolean. Shape, move is a true or false variable. So if shape move is true, then the shape X position will be the mouse X position, right? That's what we want. We want the shape to follow the mouse. And the shape Y position will be the same as the mouse Y position. So the shape is going to follow the mouse in this function. And that's all there is to it. You're just checking those things.